Hello, it's Nathan, and welcome to Hail. So I just finished season one of Disney Short Circuits. This is a new series of just short films or short episodes, whatever you want to call them, from Disney Studios. A lot like Pixar's short films, except even shorter. Each runtime sits at about five or six minutes, but usually the first minute or two is an introduction of the film, and then there's about a minute of credits. So... When you really look at it, each of these shorts are only about two or three minutes long. And overall, it's hard to give a review to these shorts because all of them were really good. Honestly, there wasn't really one that I didn't like. However, a lot of them just left me wanting more. And I think that's a good problem to have. Like, my only complaint with these short films is that they were almost too short. I was falling in love with the characters and the story and the visuals and so much about these short films and then they would just end and I found myself wanting more. And if you're going to be watching this series, I would recommend that you watch the credits as well because more often than not, it seems that the story continues on into the credits even if it's just pictures on the screen. So what I want to do today is I just want to give a short like pretty much sentence long review of each short just to kind of give you my general thoughts on it and then at the end of the video I will give my top five shorts from this season and so I'm just going to go in order of each episode starting with Puddles. It's a very imaginative short and it was fun to watch and kind of sends a message about don't be on your phone, spend time with your brother your siblings so there's that exchange student i actually like this one it had a good concept it was creative you'll probably hear me say creative a lot as i talk about these shorts because a lot of them were just very creative and very original lucky to pay was funny to me i i thought it was cute i liked how <laughs> the leprechaun is thrown out the window and i just liked the leprechauns period in this short i thought they were pretty funny and the whole business of making two pays from the leprechauns is just really clever. Just a thought, this was one of my favorites for sure. I loved the animation. I thought it was a funny idea. And honestly, I, I would love a movie of this short. I think that there is a lot that they could do with it. But most of all, I just thought it was creative how this kid's thoughts are interacting with his schoolmates and how people can see his thought bubble. And it was, it was cool how the thought bubble is a character in the short cycles this was definitely probably the most touching at least one of the most touching shorts of all of them you just see the lives of this elderly couple and, and you see the time that they spent in this home and it was relatable in the sense that we've all had a home at least hopefully we've all had a home that means a lot to us and this short was really showing that it's not so much the the house like the literal house the literal the literal property but it's more so what takes place in the house and that's what makes it a home and this short really kind of touched on that and i liked that a lot lightning in a bottle was fine it was kind of weird i mean lightning falling in love it seems that disney and pixar kind of get away with abstract ideas in these short films and this definitely was one of them um and also is it really bad that i wanted the kid to be struck by lightning at the end anyone bueller the race was super goofy but funny and it was original and just where do they come up with these ideas i think these ideas are so funny i i love it the race was just entertaining to watch hair jitsu it was kind of goofy um it was cute to see this little girl's imagination uh and the animation was well done as well but just a goofy episode nothing wrong with it downtown man I, I like this one i want a feature film of this one as well it was so cool and the style at times reminded me a lot of spider-verse i don't quite know how they would make a movie out of this but i just really liked the animation in this and the way it was all constructed was really cool to me jinghua meaning a uh, flower in the mirror it was sad but it had a sweet backstory. I feel like that made the short a little bit more meaningful to me. Otherwise, if I hadn't watched that intro, it just didn't mean as much to me. But watching the background to it made me like it a little bit more. Drop. This was a fun little film where you kind of see the cycle of a raindrop. You see all the places that a raindrop goes in its life, if you want to use that word. And I really liked the music in this one, too. It had great music. Zenith was very visually appealing, and I didn't really understand what was going on the entire time. But with that being said, I still enjoyed it, and I still thought it was very visually stunning. So I like that one. Elephant in the Room. I really like this one. It is probably, I think it's the only one that it's a song instead of like a score. There's a song being sung throughout the whole short, and I thought that that was fitting. I also liked the theme of family and how it's important to be together. I, I like that that theme it was a good theme fetch um not gonna lie I'm, I'm gonna spoil this one i mean i don't think i'll offend too many people it's literally like a two or three minute short 
But when she is eaten by her Oliver, by her pet named Oliver, I really wanted the credits to roll. Like, how funny would that have been if she gets eaten and then the credits just roll? Everyone would have been like, what the heck? Like, what was the point of that that short? But anyways, it was a, it was a cute one. Uh, wasn't my favorite by any means, but I thought the animation was really well done. Uh, it seemed like it was one of the more advanced animated shorts of this of this list. So it was really appealing to the eye. Uh, overall, all of them were very creative and they were very original. And it seems very personal to the filmmakers, which I thought that was cool. And as for my top five, that is a great question. Just give me one moment. At number five, I would put Drop. Number four, I put Downtown. At number three, I put Just a Thought. At number two, I put Elephant in the Room. And then at number one, I put Cycles, which wasn't the, the, the most visually appealing of the series or of this season, but it just meant the most to me of all the shorts that I watched. I thought it had a really good message and I liked what I saw. And so I would rank that as my number one. I think you guys should watch this. It's a very easy watch. It shouldn't take you more than an hour, seeing as how there's about 14 episodes and each one is literally like five minutes long. So give it a watch and let me know what you think, what shorts you liked, and I will talk to you later. Mm -hmm.